So I saw this um this post on Facebook, you know those kind of hide my ID kind of posts. And I decided I was going to speak about it. Um this is what it's uh this is what the person uh, sent. He said she said, Good afternoon. Um please post me as anonymous, you know. Um I am desperate I desperately need this advice. I'm a young lady doing well for myself i am dating my university course mate who traveled abroad after our youth service we were not dating during school days we became friends after service he told me about his intentions two years after he left nigeria he is also doing well for himself he doesn't stay here in in my state he comes here because his friends live here he will come into nigeria stay in my house like two days or three if he is staying two weeks, he will take my car and use it till he leaves. I am like, I am this kind of person who hardly asks a man for money because I don't know how, how to. This is why I work to earn a lot. This relationship is five years this January and he only sends me money during my birthday or sometimes to change and send it to his parents. Now, back to my car my dad bought me one for my uh, my dad bought me one and my elder sister gave me one after i did my master's graduation last two years i sold my first car and added money to buy another one now back to my boyfriend the first time my boyfriend came home he took my car and used it for a week he scratched some places, but it wasn't much of an issue. He traveled back. He traveled back. I took my car for repairs. He didn't ask me how how he didn't ask me about how much it cost me at all. I let it go. At this time around, he came two weeks of November and took my car again. He spent three weeks with it. He traveled with it to his village and came back after two weeks and used it for one more week, hanging out with his friends. He got back from the village and the bumper was bent and front lights broken. He took the car to a roadside mechanic and they fixed it anyhow. Two days to him going back, he brought the car. He's your boyfriend. He brought the car. Meaning he was not around with you. I don't I don't get that part though. His friend came to pick him pick him up. I saw how messed up my car was and told him I'm cold. Let me own the engine of this car. I'm cold. I'm cold. No, 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 no. Let me hit the car up. My legs on the cold. So uh his friend told him, okay. I saw how messed up my car was and told him that he should have repaired the affected areas and retouched the painting before bringing it back to me. His friend told him that I was right, that he had used, he, he had seen this car when he brought it newly. He started laughing and told his friend to mind his business, that he should stop interfering. He told me that he will send, he will see, he will see to it when he travels back. I took my I took my car to my mechanic shop and spent roughly 220k. It is a rough it is a wrong is it a wrong thing to send him a message and receipt on how I did my car. He came back and all he, and all he did was drop two bottles of perfume for me and a handbag before he took that car. The foil gauge was full. He brought that car empty after sending him the cost of what I spent, he did not respond to my chats for the rest of that day. The next day, he took a while before he responded to my message. His response was that I would send you the money on Friday. That Friday, I didn't bother. I didn't bother reminding him. I received a 250k alert on Friday night and saw his transfer photo slip on whatsapp with a message take your take your money and send 30k to my mom's account he didn't send another message i responded thank you the next morning i chatted him up and he didn't respond so i kept to myself 
since Christmas till now, he hasn't chatted or called me. I have been asking him what happened, where I went wrong, no response. I didn't bother him again. Please, I want to know if I did the right thing with him. I want honest advice. Thank you. Hmm. Now, wow, relationship, eh? You don't get blueprints. Relationship does not have blueprint because you're dealing with different people at um, different times. Different people, different situation at different times. So you will not use what you use for A to um, work. We will not expect what to work for A to work for B. The same thing wouldn't work for each each people, you know. So um, if I want to look at this case from how it's coming, first I would say that the girl wasn't happy that the guy doesn't give her money. Nigeria relationship, I was telling my younger brother yesterday that Nigeria relationship is different from the UK's relationship or from the abroad relationship. In the abroad, the woman takes care of herself, the man takes care of himself because we're both working. The man is working, the woman is working. Most of the things they give to women abroad is what he gave to you, perfume, handbag, wristwatch, flower, if not you both you follow, chocolate, shoe, or you go out together, maybe you do some shopping and he pays. There's really this buck giving, like the way Nigeria will just buy you iPhone of one point something million. They know they do one for abroad a year. Maybe the person if you put your phone plan for him money for a card. So your phone plan money monthly money will come up for a card. That's if you have like me, my phone is not on finance, so I just bought my phone like that. So I'm not paying monthly for my phone, but I pay monthly for the data I use. You know, I do all limited data. So some men will be generous enough to say, okay, you know what? I'll be paying for your phone. Uh, plan so the data you're using every mind is all limited so it's the highest i use because obviously i do video i download and all those stuff so some people just be generous enough to put their wife or partner's plan on their on theirs so every month instead of the woman to be paying for the phone the phone bills come from the man's pocket so they're even if the man is married to you and eh, this taking up full responsibility eh, is not there in the diaspora it may be there in nigeria but it's not there in the diaspora so uh, i know one thing the girl is looking at it like uh, this man is in the abroad he's supposed to be giving me enough and oh guy yes you are in the abroad your currency is higher than the woman's currency in the uk here yeah, now exchange rates as at some days two days ago so it was 1700 naira to a pound and if i give out five pound it's really nothing to me because it's small to me. No, so five pound converted is, is high to a person in Nigeria. So if you say to yourself, every month end, I'll be giving my girlfriend in Nigeria 50 pounds, which is, which is really nothing. 50 pounds should be like, um, I don't know, I'm not good for mass, you know. Um, if it's one seven, 10 pounds is 17,000, right? 15 pounds, 17 times, uh, 17 times uh, 5 gives you 50 pounds. So that's a lot. Even if the woman on her own, see, if woman get, even if woman get money, you see that chocolate bar where you buy for her. You see that t-shirt where you buy for her. You see that bag where you buy for her. If woman gets her own money, that extra money where they give her, eh, in a pride for her, say, ah, now my guy give me this money, now my husband give me this money, now my boyfriend give me this money. So she was expecting, like, my guy lives abroad, so he should give me something. Maybe a month, you can say every month, as my girlfriend, every month, 50 pounds or 100 pounds is not too much for your girlfriend. No, it's not too, it's not too much really for your girlfriend. And 100 pounds is like a 170,000 naira. So 50 pounds should be like, um, share it into two. <laughs> oh, when I leave me, that's like um, seven into three is uh, um, 35 plus 50, 85,000 naira. So just round it up every month and I give you 100k. You, you talk to her, uh, not be big deal, but at least you go pay your lights be. At least it will foil your car. No, you don't give her money frequently. You just give her stuff maybe on her birthday, which every other person does. So why are you different from the boyfriend? So you don't give her money. You don't do anything for her. You come in. Nothing is wrong. Not, there's nothing wrong in your boyfriend or fiancé or whoever using your car. There's nothing wrong in that. But at least respect the car. Uh, even if not jalopy. Even if my car not jalopy. I they wash the jalopy. So if you take the jalopy that you want to use the jalopy, bring the jalopy the way you took the jalopy. You understand? If, it's, if you use it in a muddy place, 
if there's cut the demand that you take it to the car wash and let them clean clean it up if you bump or you destroy any part of the car um, by mistake obviously you will not go and bash the car if something happens to the car but see the man that is either you take it to a good mechanic to fix or you tell the woman fix it i'll pay you or you 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 transfer some money if if i use your stuff eh, and i know that it's going to cost you ten thousand naira to fix it cut the man i give you twelve thousand fifteen thousand inconvenience transport to the place or transport back from the place you understand you have to think of those things now this is your girlfriend that you don't give money you took her car you 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 destroy the you know, something happened to the bumper. The headlights stopped working. She walked on the car. She gave it to you uh, the bill, and you're angry. Madam, now you put up this post. We know you're going to say it the way it will make us support you. Gonna you the judge? Uh -huh. So we know you will not say the parts. You will not say it. Uh, the part that you were not angry, you were not squeezing your face, you were not, not responding well to him. You know that part. We be women. We know these things. Uh -huh. So, how did you bring this across to him? You know, men, men, we know girl wonder. Men has ego. There's a way you bring issues to them and they will respond positively. There's a way you bring issues to them, they will respond negatively. Now you have to understand who you're dealing with. That's why I said relationship is not a one, one cap fit all. No, it's not a size, uh, one, one size, no. It depends on who you're dealing with at what time you're dealing with that person. You understand? So how did you bring this up to the man? Did you see the car and all like disgusted, like, when you disgusted and then you now f getting angry already that this man was not with you all this why he has been hanging out with friends he doesn't give you stuff he came around and what he could give you was just to perfume and a guy also that perfume a better perfume not those 30, 30 pounds perfume now you go buy for him be 20 pounds perfume i've been um uh, with the call him uh, uh, the one where you go spray no 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 before you go even reach outside you don't go I was in a better perfume because if you're buying somebody perfume and you're buying a perfume of like 200 pounds, the person will say you just came and dropped two bottles of perfume because two bottles of perfume of 200 or 250 pounds or even 150 pounds is something. So not go buy those 25 pounds perfumes <laughs> because the tax that you give woman perfume, you where they come from abroad and your girlfriend for that matter. Give her good perfume, you understand? So not just buy like three bottles of rubbish pack, but it's cover person's space for her. Uh -huh. And then uh, you said it's two perfume and one handbag. What kind of handbag? I know you know you don't look kind. You know you begin away get class, as in you you you're doing well for yourself. You know these things, and maybe you not look at the bag. I say now this kind of bag you bring for me. Now this kind of perfume you bring for me. So obviously you weren't happy already. You weren't happy. Now he took your car, and then he went to do whatever he went to do with the car. So already you are angry at what Oga did. So already before this incident of car. There is already a crack on the wall. Something is already annoying madame. But madame cannot bring it out in the open. So that it doesn't look like, you know, people, people like that woman and people like me, you are not the ask person money. You. Even when I was in school, so if you ask my papa money, when I was in Nigeria, when my father was still alive, so if you ask my father for money, they had me. And my younger sister, they helped me, they go ask my papa for money. It's difficult for me to ask for money. I don't know why. Maybe because they brought us up that way. My papa, my father used to give us pocket money. So it's difficult for me to not go and ask for extra. I can say, they say we should bring this. But when I'm going to school, like to, if he just gives me the money, maybe he, then my father used to give me 2,000 naira as uh, Pocket money then. 2000 I'm talking of 98 to not be today. So that's like 20 something years ago. That was big money then. So when he gives me the money, I'll say, ah, this money no go reach you. But I cannot say to him that this money will not be enough. And then I not, I not transcended to when I started dating. I don't ask guys for money. If you give me fine, if you don't give me fine, if you buy me stuff fine, if you don't buy me fine, eh, fine in quotes, but inside of me, I got a few say, you know, if you use the years, give me money. If you give me, I'll happy. Oh, uh -huh. inside of my mind, I will say, you know, if you use your head, give person something. You person not ask, you know, they give. Why some other men, they cannot, they don't know how to give without you asking. They are waiting for you to ask. You are waiting for them to give. Now their problem, they come. So that is why I say you need to understand yourselves. Now the man need to understand this woman that she doesn't ask, but if you give her, she will appreciate. Now the woman need to understand this man that if I don't ask this guy, <laughs> I go, oh dear, he no go give me. You guys need to understand yourself. 
So me, I don't ask somebody for money. Oh. That is why I was speaking to a friend yesterday. I said, I like having a plan B. I like having a plan B because if I broke, if I hook, I know they feed the ask person. So I like putting something aside to buffer me. Eh? Some, some, some time ago, I traveled to Kotonou. And then I missed my flights. And then I needed to buy a new ticket. For, uh, uh, sons and daughters of God, you know that I was made to buy a new ticket for 700 pounds. 700 pounds. I cough them out the next morning. That one a different story of how I tell me. If you want me to hear the story of how I missed my flight, tell me for comment section. I'll give you that story differently. 700 pounds. Now convert that money to Nigerian money or UK, um, Ghana, um, Kotonou money and know how much came out. Okay, now, if there was no reserve, say, I guess smart, say, I'll be that type of, say, if you want travel, you will use all the money where you get. Say, buy uh, tickets, buy things, buy everything. And then you don't have reserve. I would have been in trouble, right? I would have been stuck wherever, wherever I was then. So I like having a plan B. And who are for call for this? Say, give me 700 pounds. So when you go give me, <laughs> it is when you need money that you know that people, <laughs> you know, they will. So always have people, be perfect person like me, I always like to have a plan B. So now let me go back to uh, our madam. Sisi Eko. Um, I saw the comment on that uh, vid uh, that post. Many many people, including men, were saying, "Run for your life! Run for your life! Run for your life!" The thing is this: um, both of you are having. I don't want to say the word. I don't want to use the word ego ego problem. Both of you have are having that problem. You know who go first, con talk like you said you have sent the man several messages and he has not responded i don't know how you reacted to him and i don't know why he will refuse to respond you guys have been together for five years five years not be five days not be five weeks not be five seconds five years is a lifetime for a child five years <laughs> so for a man to have a relationship with you for five years and decide to ignore you ignore you for that long me too. I go think twice. I won't lie to you. I'll think twice. Even if I don't get a relationship every five years. Say a person won't talk saying like me. Or won't try to prove saying like me. Or won't show saying like me. Or we won't show saying like me. Or we will get something together. Then for five years. Um, sorry. We get misunderstanding. Even if now my head now not correct. We get misunderstanding. And you decide to stay away for that long. That suggests that. Mm -mm. I no really mean anything to you. Eh, I no really mean anything to you. So if it's me, I don't know how you reacted. So that's why I will not be able to give you full, um, full, um, answer. You know, whoever is listening. I don't know how, what prompted what the man did and what the man had in mind before he left. If he was like, I'm ending this relationship or if there were stuff before that. I don't know. But if it's just that, the man not do it when he not take the response to your man. At least he should say what's, ang what's uh, making him angry. He should say it so that you'll be able to explain your own part. That's where you guys will communicate. When there is a relationship without communication, eh, you know they feel they stay. I have been in such relationships where there is no communication. You know they feel they last. You know they feel they stay where there's a relationship without communication. So this is why the lady has been sending message. How are you? How are you? Even if the lady does not send a message, you the man, be a man. Call him. Ask him. What's wrong with you? Or ask him why you behave the way you behave the other day. Because I used your car. Don't you know this? Don't you know that? Now the lady said he took it to a roadside mechanic who did it anyhow. When the roadside mechanic did it anyhow, madam, how did you respond to the guy? You know, so I think there was a break there. And without communication, you guys can't fix it. And if a guy did refuse to respond, it go hard. Maybe a guy self is tired of his relationship. Flipping it, maybe a guy is in a serious relationship in their abroad. Though. But I don't want to bank fully on that because... A broad relationship again, <laughs> not easy. Uh -huh. So, in conclusion, in conclusion, there are different ways to this. Different ways to this. Two people, the two of you, have your own fault. Madam, you have your fault. How did you relate, relate to Oga? 
And for five years dating, which one are they do? No, no, they marry. What's your plan for five years? Because it gets to a time you guys, it, it will not get, start getting stilled. So if you're married for that length that you've been together, if not marriage now, <laughs> Oga go verse, verse, verse. Oga must still talk to you. Last, last. Uh -huh. But now in a relationship, so to throw away the tower is very easy for Oga. So for five years, you've been with a guy. It seems like you guys don't have plans to settle down. You don't need to do elaborate marriage. One of those, one of these days, he comes to Nigeria. You guys can just go to any of the courts, any of the courts, and just any of the courts that does um registry, and just sign these papers, and you're married. So when you're married, all this issue it go reduce more because then you know your position. I know why you're feeling somehow now. Why you're looking for closure now is because there is no nothing serious attached. You, you may think you are in a committed relationship or you are an exclusive, you are in an exclusive relationship. Or God may not be seeing it that way. Or God may just be coming, having free pickles, having free food, having free car, having free accommodation. You go finish, you go go. Do you know how much it costs for somebody to pay for accommodation, feed themselves, carry woman, carry car? When you're in Nigeria. So, a guy is getting those things free from you. So, it's possible a guy has another relationship in the abroad and is using you to do Osho free when it comes to Nigeria. Me, when I was in Nigeria, I don't do foreign relationship. I know it fits. Now, what the person go fit do, now they do. I cannot fit it. I cannot do it. So, I did not do it. So, even living in the abroad like this now, to do foreign relationship in the Nigeria, it may be a very difficult something. I may not be able to do it. <laughs> but they say never say never because you don't know whom the heart may choose to love. <laughs> but it cannot, it's hard for that man, a man, to be in the abroad something without no commitment. He's not married to you, so he's not owing you any commitment. He's not owing you any fidelity. For the man to be in the abroad and then coming to Nigeria once in a while to test your thing, after testing, carry your motor, eat your food, stay in your house, do everything, and then go back. Madam, <laughs> In all of this, what do you want? What it be your own inside? So you have to sit down and use your tongue to count your teeth. Now, so I will talk rich for this video. Don't be too long. When I enjoy myself. Bye-bye. Have a lovely day.